All right, I'm Alexis Ohanian. I was just on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, and now I have 10, is that right, 10 apps. I've not seen these apps before, at least not the cards, uh, and I have to guess what they are. The first, split-wise, this should probably be an app for splitting fares. No, splitting a tab at a bar or a restaurant. Helps you keep track of debts owed between friends. Allows you to pay on PayPal and Venmo. Zum. I have no clue what this is. Um, uh, Zum must be an app for on-demand gum delivery because we don't have enough gum on demand in our lives. App that helps parents find babysitters and rides for their kids. Okay, clearly I've not used this app because I, uh, my, my wife and I never let Junior out of our sight. Bumper, bumper. Uh, there was an app called Bump that used to let you like tap your phone into another person's phone in order to switch contact information, but that's not this one. Bumper is an app that is used when you get in a car accident to easily uh, summon a tow truck. This is a podcast recording app. You can edit the podcast in the app and publish it on iTunes, a bumper, right? That's the thing that starts and ends a podcast. Okay. Guru Shots. Wow. Um, guru Shots. This is a social network of professional photographers because they are gurus, or maybe it's for bartenders. No, Guru Shots is a, a social network for professional photographers in order to, uh, you know, like get work and stuff. Okay, you participate in daily photo challenges with millions of other users in a bid to real world prizes based on the number of votes you get. Fresh Savvy, Fresh Savvy. Um, I'm going with On Demand again, and it's probably something related to food. Um, so it's like On Demand Organic Quinoa. This app lets you know what fruits and vegetables are ripe or ready to be bought at the grocery store by just snapping a picture? Wow, okay. This is a little frustrating for me because I feel like some of my best fruit secrets were handed down to me by my mother and grandmother that involved like weird groping of fruits and smelling of vegetables. But that's fine, Fresh Savvy, good luck. Okay, last pass, I know that one. Uh, that is the one that you use for, um, it's like, a, it's like a single sign-on password thing, so you can collect all your passwords in one place. I actually use Dashlane, no offense, LastPass, but I just use Dashlane. An app that stores all your passwords and automatically logs you into the website. Chef's Feed, Chef's Feed. Um, I want to hope this is doing something about wasted food at restaurants um, because it's really hard to predict inventory on those things. We actually invested in a company called Shelf to work on optimizing that, shameless plug. Um, and there's a ton of, of overage spillage, which is the waste cost associated with the restaurant business. Um, I hope that this app is a way to make sure that food before it spoils gets donated to the cause to feed someone. <laughs> Restaurants are reviewed by professional and celebrity chefs. Okay, Run P. Okay, Run P has to be a Yelp for public restrooms. <laughs> oh, I did know this one. Yeah, damn it. It's an app that keeps a database of movies and tells you the best time in the movie to go to the bathroom. Kira, Kira, no clue. This could be anything. Um, I am gonna guess that it is based on Kira, Kira, Kira. Um, I don't know, uh, it's on-demand cookies. I don't know, an app, stop it. It's an app that puts a sparkle filter on everything. What a time to be alive. Laces is the last one. Gosh, I hope this isn't a sneaker or shoe related startup because we invested in GOAT. So I'm a little biased here. So I'm hoping Laces is just uh, a, fa a warehouse, the best and cheapest way to get shoelaces online. The app doesn't exist. Brilliant. Oh well, I got like a one out of 10, which means I am no longer co-founder of Initialized Capital. I'm gonna have to demote myself and find a new job. So send me an email, I'll update my resume.